Uncle Bob's roped me into another challenge. Apparently there's one in a place called Pottsville, which he's been meaning to try for a while. But it's a two-man challenge, so he needs a teammate, which is where I come in. Not sure he's going to enjoy the choice of music. Might be a little bit heavy for a man of his age. Don't want to startle him. Thanks for picking me up. No worries, man. Damn, this is awesome. I think if you're in any more videos at this point, I'm going to need to start paying you like a salary or dividends or something. <laughs> What's the... He was... Do you see how close he just drove to me? Yeah. They haul. I mean, they, they hit the afterburner and they're going into the turn as opposed to out of it. <laughs> <laughs> They're crazy around here. I mean, it's not my car. I, I don't really care. What's the What's the name of the place we're going to today? So we're going to the Underdog Catering Company in Pottstown, PA. Underdog? That speaks yes. to me at quite a, a deep personal level, you know. Who's <laughs> I haven't done that for a while. I keep forgetting to do it, you know. How do you forget to do that? I don't know. I, just, I, get, you know, I get caught up because I've got like about five different cameras now. A place called Under Underdog. That was a TV show, right? Underdog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I'm not sure he's allowed to do that, but it kind of has a character like the Underdog. <laughs> <laughs> I think he licensed it. I think he can park here. You think I can park? Where I, can, I can actually park. Here. <laughs> you probably won't get towed. You might get booted, but we could probably park here. We we'll just have to eat quick. You could, you could probably bite the boot off, right? We call it a clamp in England, not a boot. Right. Let's get in there. Is this a nice area to park? I wouldn't leave the tan in the back seat like that. No. Uh -huh. No. Put it this way, you won't have to worry about it taking it home. <laughs> By the way, Bob, do you like these new shoes that I got? I don't know how much longer I can get away with wearing stuff like this. I'm, I'm not quite ready for the, the R6 yet. You know, the, the, the middle-aged man's footwear of choice. That's not that's not really my look. <laughs> Bob's wearing his own merch again. Oh, let's get it! That's a cool thing. Ooh. Hey. Hi, hi, how's it going? It's hard to find good eaters, but I found him and... You said I, I look like I don't eat at all. That's why I can't wait to see it. You got what? Come on, this, menu. there should be strength between us, you know? You've got a massive beard, I've got a beard. Where's the love? <laughs> oh. You feeling confident? Oh, this is easy peasy. This is another. Easy peasy? I said sarcasm. I'm glad you're here with me, Bob. I will say that. Is there a green light on the back of that mic yeah. here? Yeah. Thank God. I didn't want to have to get back up again. Tight squeeze getting in here. I don't know how you did it. Right, so today we're at a place called um, Underdog, and we're taking on the, this humongous team food challenge, which consists of every hot dog on their menu, right? Yeah. yeah. And a bunch of sides too. I won't itemize every single one because we'll be here all day. And uh, yeah, if you finish it inside 30 minutes, you get the meal free uh, t shirt. T shirt. And there's like a little digital wall of fame in the corner. Not just the not just the manual wall of fame, it's digital wall of fame which moves and stuff. That crew over there is definitely not behind us. No, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to prove them wrong, Bob. This is gonna be a tough one. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Eat it! Alright. <laughs> I'll try and eat it. I'm gonna start with the hot dog. Hopefully you're gonna get some of these chips here, because yeah. I seem to have a lot of chips. Fries? Fries. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Did you hear that? I'm slowly starting to anglicize Bob. He said chips, not fries. Anyway, today we're at Underdog, taking on this veritable banquet of greasy goodies, which consists of a bunch of uh, topped hot dogs, loaded fries, chili, mac and cheese, onion rings, some other accompaniments. Say no fish and chips. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> This ain't no fish and chips, apparently. I feel personally attacked. No, I'm joking. I love a bit of sledging as much as the next man. That guy looks, he already looked like the most American bloke in the place, but uh, I think that now confirms it. Anyway, teams of two get 30 minutes in which to finish this thing. And if you're successful, you get a winner's t-shirt, a spot on their digital wall of fame, and most importantly, a free meal. Otherwise, I think this is like 90 bucks or something. But it's uh, it's all right because if we lose, Bob's paying. <laughs> I feel like there's, there's so much variety that we really should do like a little bit, make an effort to do some kind of food review. But uh, there's probably two, it would take us forever. There's what, there's 12 hot dogs here. This one has sauerkraut. I know not many people out there are fans of sauerkraut, but I love it. I do love sauerkraut actually. It's one of those uh, foods. It's not really a vice because 
it's pretty flipping good for you. High in, um, what, vitamin C, fiber, potassium, probably some other stuff too, magnesium maybe? I don't know, but it tastes good. Really good wings. How about you, you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. This, those aren't spicy wings, are they? <laughs> <laughs> This one is yummy. Does anyone know which one this one is? Slaw dog. Slaw dog. dog. This is called a slaw dog, Bob. It might not be the most appetizing sounding hot dog, but it tastes yummy. <laughs> yeah, they could probably have picked a catchier name, but the dog itself was solid. In fact, they're all pretty good. And I should know because I ate most of them. <laughs> Are you eating any of these hot dogs or just me? I think you need to practice. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I just realized they're actually Nathan's dogs, right? Yeah. They've got a Nathan's logo on there. Yeah, Nathan's famous all beef franks. I mean, well, they're, they're famous in America, nowhere else, really. This was the, I think this is a deli dog with pastrami and pickles on top. They're absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, I, I watch it on YouTube, but this is like, they're wow. I think insane is the right word here. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. This looks premium. Pretzel dog. Pretzel dog, apparently. I've never heard of that before, but um, it was certainly more substantial than the others. I'm gonna get these trays out of the way. <laughs> oh. You got napkins, Bob? Oh, he said, oh. <laughs> you got one of those dogs. Oh, one of these things? Yeah, yeah you need to change it up. Yeah. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's a waffle dog. I've never even heard of that before. Sure. Waffle hot dog. That is... I don't know what kind of french fries that is. Tastes like seafood? Yeah, crab. Oh, no, that's crab on there. Crab? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you didn't make that joke, I was going to make it, so I'll let you know. Oh no, nine and a half minutes in, and the tone has been lowered quite radically. Not by me though, for a change. I don't think I've ever had seafood on fries before, but the, the combination was interesting. You're breathing pretty deep over there, old man. You're going to pass out on me, mate. Someone's got to work here. <laughs> You're enjoying that crab a little too much. We're almost halfway. Thank you. These are all loaded french fries and they're loaded. I think somebody's FaceTiming a relative over there showing them what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Bob's the hero. It didn't look that big, right? I, I'm starting to see why it took you so long now. I, yeah, I thought it was taking Bob a while, but the loaded fries here are a bit daft. The portions are pretty big. They're pretty clean? Yeah, you know, it is clean. It's too clean. Ah, too clean. I'm making the messy cereal. I mean, in his defense, Assuming he has milk on his cereal, that is always quite difficult for a bearded man to navigate hygienically. Personally, I'm always trying to make adjustments to my technique, you know, try to stay as clean as possible. I'm doing all right today. Just under halfway through. There's a ways to go yet, but we're doing all right. I'm just finishing off the crabby fries. Is that what we should call them? Probably not. That doesn't make them sound that appetizing. <laughs> I take that meat. Oh, you, you get the mac and cheese, I get the chicken wings. All right, okay. You want? You want? No, I have the no, it's cool. Oh, you want to, you want to, what, am I blocking your camera, Bob? I don't want to. I'm blocking your potato cam, yeah? Change the uh, auto All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to try, what, what are you calling Waffle dogs. It's like a deep fried sausage. Like they made a waffle around a hot dog. Oh, yeah, that makes tons of sense, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Hence the name Waffle Dog. Ooh, that's kind of sweet. You look sure? I would have left that to the end. Wait, are these jalapenos? 
Not again. Not falling for that again. Had enough of those things on that pizza a few episodes back. I think I'll let the old man take care of these suckers. What we got left? The uh, the chicken wings, some of the chicken strips, some onion rings, and uh, oh yeah, this weird slushy thing. Clever, isn't it? I'm gonna eat this one waffle dog, right? Why don't you have one to eat? Well, you sabotaged me with jalapenos in the last video, so it's the least you can do. You can eat for like two minutes. Or two minutes. How much talk? How to deal with the drama? Tell me it's good for the video, though. He's like the world's thinnest napkin, dude. Yeah, Whose right. idea was that? <laughs> I wrote some sauce over here, I don't really know what it is, but... Marinara. Marinara sauce was a bit of a weird addition. I think that's more like a pizza accompaniment. Thankfully, you don't actually have to finish the, the sauce, though. Give me some of that syrup. Be my guess, don't eat all the onion rings, though. No, oh, I remember in a... In Florida, you really upset that we eat onion rings. <laughs> oh, I, like onion rings. I know he's attached to his onion rings. <laughs> I just ordered onion rings. Stop talking, Bob. We're going to run out of time. Yeah, well, we've got about 10 minutes left. Admittedly, we're almost done, but that frozen dessert thingy is going to slow me down a bit. See, Bob, that's how you clean a wing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Not that I want to tell the world's finest wingy them how to, uh, to eat wings. We got nine and a half minutes. Nine and a half minutes? Oh, yeah, it's fine. We'll get it, we'll get a half hour. Brain freeze. <laughs> That's the worst. Can't do nothing about it. Oh, this is thick. I thought it was going to be like a slushy. No. It's a full on dessert, this thing. This is going to go down to the wire. Ugh. Pardon me. You're sitting here about Gavin. Yeah, I think I'm uh, finishing off that second waffle dog now, which was news to me. I'd never heard of a waffle dog before. Doesn't really make a great deal of sense to me to encase a hot dog inside waffle mixture, but what do I know? Normally, I really love chili, but there are so many different flavors in this challenge. I don't know like a tolerate another flavor. <laughs> this is really good, but oh my goodness. It's weird going from crab to... Uh... What was the other thing? The waffle dog. Mm-hmm. Oh. We're running out of time, man. This would be hard. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised nobody's done it. Oh. Onion rings and syrup, that's stuff. <laughs> you need to try that. Hey, I'm blazing a trail here. I would have thought syrup and onion rings would make a bit more sense than combining waffles and hot dogs like, but America, right? Who am I to say? Oh. <laughs> this salad ice man is like this. This is a value. It'd be hard enough without this man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought this thing was like a slushy, but it's actually way thicker. Kind of like, uh, like a really gooey sorbet, but it was cold. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. You done? That's, that's gonna be the dessert. Yeah. yeah. That was a rough one. Good job. The underdog challenge. Do they have it in like normal human sizes? The maid hasn't been to my room to, to give me a new bed sheet for like five days now, so I'll take this, I could use that as a bed sheet. <laughs> I like it though, it's like got a little mini belt on the bottom. That's cool. Oh, with their look, it's got their little uh, hot dog man logo on. That's no joke, Bob. <laughs> Just tell me it was going to be easy. Right.
Let me get you home, old man. Has Adidas. Let, what, you, what you're gonna tell me? It's Adidas. We say Adidas, but it should be Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> or what, what's Adidasler, isn't it?